I'm here tonight to seek some answers to numerous questions that I've asked, and I've been at the public forum several times to no avail to answers to numerous questions. At the conclusion of my remarks is usually a thank you, but I want to have answers to questions. The questions are very simple, doesn't require a lot, just a complete truthful answer. What I want to know is what is the true issue with the budgeting approval process and the way the business administration administrator in his office was operating? What are the true issues? There have been numerous audits that have not flagged any major problems to be identified. And if there is an audit with identifiable problems, there's always a plan of correction. It appears that there's a limited understanding of business practices and budgeting. Once this board approves an annual budget, each item on the budget is approved for expenditure, unless there are specific requirements. One, you need additional approval if it exceeds the amount, or sometimes in some budgets, there's a cap. If it goes over a certain amount, you may want additional approval. This board has bigger issues and concerns that are more relevant and more problematic in this district, such as overcrowding, curriculum development, getting a referendum passed. And one of my concerns currently is the establishment of a community meeting group to address parental concerns of issues that's been happening in this district that has not been established, that was promised to be established over two years ago. With that regard, I ask that you reinstate the business administrator so that he can continue his practice of having stellar audit reviews. My next question pertains to the acting superintendent. Today is May 5th, I just wanna know Will you be graduating within the next week, two weeks? There have been a moving target, December, January, year after year after year. When is it gonna happen? I think at this point, there's been numerous opportunities, and I ask that this board, because you're charged with operating in the best interest of the students of this district and not mismanage taxpayer dollars, with that in mind, I'd ask that you not extend her contract. Thank you.